Hello, welcome back to another episode of D54. I'm back and I'm back with Doug to do a song reaction. <laughs> welcome, Let's Doug. Do it. I'm so excited. This will be my first one. Hey, this is, I think, your first song reaction, and it's going to be yeah, pretty that's cool. My first song um, reaction. Yeah, but actually, so, you know, before we start, though, man, like, what are your thoughts about sort of Malayalam music in general within songs? Because that's a point that we didn't really talk too yeah. much about on our recent. We just recorded another episode, guys. That's why we were wearing the same clothes um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the yeah. 2023 wrap up. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm not like Doug Funny, if you're familiar uh, with that yeah. from America. I don't wear the same clothes every single day. Uh, but I'm glad you brought that up because. Actually, you know, one of the one specific fan, Ashok, has been extraordinary in, you know, behind the yeah. scenes sending me information about Kerala and Malayalam cinema and actors and actresses. And I can't thank him enough. And he knows that. And if you're watching, thank you again. Um, but he often talks about the songs and, and the music. And I guess I'll clear up my thoughts on that by saying that the vast majority of Americans I talk to who have a reticence to watch mm. any sort of Indian cinema, they generally are thinking Bollywood and they're thinking about big dancing musical numbers, yeah. right? And I can't blame them, right? Uh, that's something that I myself had to kind of get over when you brought up the idea. I was like, well, I, that might be in there. Not that I was opposed to it, just like that might be in there. Um, it's not common in much of Hollywood cinema or even like our mm. independent cinema. No. It's not a problem. It's just not common. And the way that songs are utilized in the vast majority of the movies that I've seen, where it's kind of a long form montage, where it's really essentially hitting home in a particular point or really underscoring the feeling of a moment or making sure that a character motivation is really clearly understood. It's always utilized for a purpose. And let's say, and this is going to sound like a wild out of left field thing, but it's been in my head because I have a two year old daughter <laughs> in, uh, in the animated Tarzan from Disney. Mm. There's the song you'll be in my heart and it mm. works very effectively in that moment. And it's only two and a half minutes or so, but it works very effectively in that film to underscore that very quickly. We need to mm. make you believe a gorilla loves a person, yeah. you know, a gorilla loves a human being. And it loves it with all of its heart. Mm -hmm. So that in 30 seconds from now, when our character is older, we believe that it is there. It is written whole cloth. So the way these songs are utilized, I would liken more to that. Not to be no. reductive. Yeah, but no, that's they a are, good lesson. <laughs> yeah, they are extraordinarily effective at delivering an emotional subtext that would otherwise take maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes yeah. of scenes worked to get through and i've really enjoyed that about them and then the fact yeah. that as i understand it in the culture they become these you know very large successful that's, songs you'll just hear as you walk around that's wonderful because that yeah. is something that happens here in america but you know our songs will be pop songs the ones from barbie mm -hmm. were everywhere this summer you yeah. couldn't go to the grocery store without hearing something like that yeah, yeah. or you know, when titanic came out you could luck going anywhere without hearing celine dion but yeah. they take on a life of their own as I understand, these songs, and they probably still do, but I'm sure they elicit that feeling, as opposed to just being something that could be a backsplash to any moment that you're enjoying mm. in your life. I understand these songs become almost cultural touchstones in and of themselves, and I think that is awesome. So when they hit, yep. they're great. Sometimes I know that they're maybe not the greatest, but I think you get what I'm mm. going for here. The way yep. that they're utilized is extraordinary in that... They can make you understand a long span of time yes. in, you know, maybe about five minutes. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they infuse music and I guess I guess more from a soundtrack point of view or like from not I'm not talking about the score specifically, is what I'm talking about. Like they actually put a music, you know, a music number in between scenes at times. I think there's a few that have hit me, but like ones I will never forget are like ones from like Mahashinte when they have that song playing um yeah. obviously in that photography scene. So that's just poof. You know, I get chills just thinking about that. <laughs> but you are exactly right. They become sort of um, cultural touch points. And I mean, there are probably songs that are remembered more than even movies at times when they do so well. But when it's a, when, it, when they both come together, like an amazing song from an amazing movie to underscore an amazing point, it's like, yeah, you can't really beat that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, but no, no, that's a great summary, man. But we are reacting to a song that's coming out for a new Mohan Lal and... Can't LJP wait. movie, like, I mean, I can't wait. what more do you have to even say? That's the movie's name is Malakotai Vailaban, and the song is Punara Katil Puvanatil. 
I, I really hope I've said that correctly, guys. I do try, trust me. But yeah, man. So, I mean, it's so interesting because we just, again, did our 2023 wrap up and there's two common themes that you've had. One is Mohan Lal and at the start and then at the end, it's been LJP. So here we are merging the two geniuses at work. <laughs> so I'm saying, and I don't know, like you did, you couldn't have planned it any no. more spectacularly. Like Definitely it couldn't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know a better way, but I'm yeah. thrilled that it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently what we know from the movie so far is that it's, um, we don't know much. Like LJP really keeps things, you know, really cryptic and doesn't really let us know too much about movies. So there's been minimal promotional material I've seen. At the start, I thought Mohanlal was playing a giant because of what, what it looked like, but it looks like it's not. It has got some elements of fantasy, I think. And I'm just reading something from here. Cool. Um Malakottai Vailaban happens in a fictitious place where there is no space and time, says Mohanlal. So there's definitely, this is going to be a fantasy kind of movie. I'm assuming fantasy awesome. sci-fi is going to have some elements of that, which I think he sometimes, he sometimes does. He does sort of trespass. He does go past that just, um, you know, he he likes to bring in elements of fantasy or religion yeah, I mean, or something into his you, movies. You could argue that that was very, very present to Dima Yao and, yeah, you know, that's what I was and, of, yeah. and Jalakato <laughs> as well, you know, like yes. both, both of those movies, like that's, that's kind of front and center. Yeah, it's like yep. surrealism, like at the end, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, I was going to say like psychedelic almost, but yes. surrealism. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. But let's see what the song is about, guys. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, okay. Here's that yeah. classic cinematography. Yeah. Punnara kaati le poovanathil kondu pogam ninne kondu pogam. Again, the darkness. <laughs> yeah, just it's shooting in dark. Unbelievable use of light. Yeah. It's like story time? Yeah. I also love the like discordance, right? Because it's almost like an accordion. And that's yes. something that's also very prevalent in his in his music. Yes. Very poetic lyrics. It's like yeah, a absolutely. Did you hear the humming? Yeah, the, the humming in the mix. Yeah. It's a minimal song. It's sweet simplicity. Like that's <laughs> this is something I love most about LJP though. Like he does it doesn't need to be sweeping and cinematic. Yeah. If this came from Hollywood, it would be explosive there would be things all over the place there'd be drums and we'd just have dun, 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 and humming like and this is a cozy scene like i'm glad you gave me that kind of intro that it was fantasy right like this happens in every fantasy film or you know here we are we're safe we're comfortable something's probably going to happen later on but look at all these fires look at the warm lighting gorgeous oh wow Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It's like a lullaby. It's almost. Yeah. Well, leave me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow Woo. okay i i quite enjoyed that quite a lot <laughs> as do i as that do was I. really nice um i love that that was beautiful my god yeah. Uh, yeah like the sweet simplicity as you mentioned that's that, that's exactly right and that's what sort of summarizes this uh, so well. But the, fun, the funny thing is, I can't think of too many songs in LJP movies, if I'm to, if I'm to be... No, I, I think... Like, aside from Angamali Diaries, that had a few really good ones. But like, Jolly, like, 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 like Jolly Kata didn't have any songs. I can't remember in Ima Yao. Truly, also the other one I've seen, and even Nanpaku, there's not been many songs. So this is actually a bit different from him to actually have a song in the movie like this. So it's, yeah, well, it's, and I think that that speaks to the kind of movie that it's going to be, right? Because it's going yeah. to be fantastical. His other movies that you were using fantasy as a means to underscore the brutal yeah. nature of reality, especially the two yes. that you and I watched together, right? So he was using those fantastical elements to really just kind of pull you away at just a strategic moments to remind you like, hey, this is a movie or to grind it into your bones like with Jalagatu to be like, hey, this is what life is really like. Mm. But we're not actually looking at a... Um, you know, a musical number like we just yeah. saw here, because the implication is these people are singing to each other between their minds, like we've seen yeah. in you know uh, some of the other movies that we watched. But uh, you know that is a strategic reason to immediately make you feel like other than the cinematography of that mm. and the fact that I'm aware now of the kind of music that LJP likes to use in his movies, yeah. I wouldn't chalk that up to him. I would chalk it up to another very visually you know spectacular That's director but given the fact that it was a song it felt different and that makes me excited because yes. this is somebody who knows how to break his own mold and i've seen it now a couple of different yeah. times and uh, the recipe is all there like what more do you need you watch that and if you're not mm -hmm. excited then there's something broken inside you and i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> No, exactly right. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. And you're right. It's interesting because, yeah, I do appreciate him sort of breaking his own mold, I guess. I mean, each of his movies do, despite the fact there are similar sort of traits. Like when I watch a LJP movie without even you telling me, he's becoming that director that I can already tell without you telling me because I'm familiar with some of the stuff he does. No one, I think, can use lighting as well as he does, like with that, especially low, like low setting lighting. How, and in this case, how, he's pushing how? himself even further. Like Unbelievable. Just firelight, <laughs> you know? I think the best I saw was him in Ima Yao with just the uh, full moonlight, which was extremely dark. But this one looks even more than that. This looks like it's, he's really challenging himself once again. So this is going to be a cinematic feast. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, singers, I don't know who they, I've heard, this guy Sri Kumar Vak 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 Vakilil and Abhaya Hiramali Hiranmayi. <laughs> I hope I've again harder names to say. But hey, um, just want to give them a bit of love there as well. It sounded pretty good. There is one thing about this movie I want to mention that was, and I think I got this from an email from Atul, our other sort of fan who's also helped us out, especially for LJP stuff. And he mentioned something around the fact that I think it's like. LGP is going from chaos, which is the movies we saw together, to silence. That's sort of the new theme that he's going to take upon. Because there's another movie which you have to watch called Nanpakul Nira Tu Mayakam, which is his latest hit, which won the State Award with Mamuti. And it was unbelievable. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, probably. Um, and it was so good I'm in. in that. Yeah, yeah, that movie was incredible. But in terms of like this, that movie also had a lot of silence to it. So I'm thinking he's going to continue upon that progression. He's transitioning from okay. the chaos to this or something like that. But Makes hey, sense. This was good. This was great, guys. We'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, did yeah, you have any other thoughts? <laughs> I'm really curious. You know, in terms of a commercial success or whatever word you want to put on there, mm. Would his type of music, so that's the other dead giveaway for me that it's LJP yeah. because of those those dissonant, discordant kind of instruments. Yeah, yeah. He likes to not, it's it's not pretty. It's beautiful, but it's not pretty. Mm. Like that is a kind of a hallmark of what I've noticed of the music that he's used in his films. But because it has that underscoring music, 
do you think it will be as successful as it could potentially be? Or do you think it would be more chalked up to something that's like it exists and within the context of the film, it's great. Mm. Or do you think it could be one of those ones that, you know, pardon the the context, but like Mm. in the grocery store, would you hear it there? Or would you hear it when you're out, you know, taking travels or anything? It's interesting. I I just, as I don't know, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on that. Yeah, no, it's a great question to ask because actually just recently, speaking of which, I had actually put a poll out asking because there's another mom, there's another Mohanal movie coming out and that's directed by Jitu Joseph, the Dushim director. Awesome. <laughs> there's all kinds of times with you today, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's another movie of his coming out, I think in like four or five days. Like it's coming out really soon. Um, so it's the first time they're collaborating together to create something new. So I put a poll out yesterday to ask which movie are you more excited for? Niru? Nehru, which is the Mohanlal and Jitu Joseph movie. Um, he's like playing a lawyer essentially in that one. So it's going to be completely different. Or Malakote Vailaban. And this movie won like 80, it was like 80, 79 to 21%. So almost 80, 20 ratio. And people are more excited for that movie. Personally, I think this movie has the potential to be a huge like commercial success because of LJP and just what people have sort of seen of him, you know, as of late. And especially the movies we mentioned and his sort of how good Nanpakul was, it basically was like it probably deserved to be a bigger sensation. I think sure. and the thing I think the reason why this one will work is because Mohan uh, one Mohan Lal, people are wanting Mohan Lal's comeback a lot. So people want to see him on the sort of bigger platform. Cause while we've seen his older movies, he really hasn't done that kind of stuff for the last like 10 years, it feels like. So we're really hoping people are excited about that fact. And just to have this the fantasy element. In this, as we mentioned, the thing that the fact that it's in a sort of you know a mystical place or something like that gives LJP the potential to just do anything he wants. Like this could yeah. be one that's unreal cinematically. So that's why I have a really strong suspicion this one's going to be a commercial success. People are excited for it. There's good build up. Um, just the mind just goes crazy thinking about what these two can do together, <laughs> you know. And they've, he's sort of already proven that he can work with a superstar like Mamuti and the, what they've done there. So the next step. Can you do that again with Mohan Lal? So I think the expectations are so high that if this movie is, you know, even, even you know, somewhat good, which I don't think that will even be a question because it's, you know, he has a track record that's been so good. It's ba- it's it's hard for me to see this movie not being a success. You know, um, I just hope that they do promote this movie well enough internationally as well. I do think it is releasing here in Australia, so that's great. But I'm just not sure if it's releasing worldwide. Like, I'm not sure if it's there in America um, as much. So that's one thing I feel like they don't – many other movies especially, I barely have had, like, yeah. two or three of them have come out, like, on time. Otherwise, they come out, like – I'm saying, like, three or four weeks after the release. So it's like the hype it almost starts to go down, and they're just getting, like, the last – like, last, you know, last minute – like um you know deals from that so it's not like much i hope they're going to promote it like they should because this is something that should be seen by an international audience i feel <laughs> 100 I, I mean i felt the, that way about the vast majority of the movies that we've watched you know like yeah. it, there's there's something truly just baked into the dna of the way cinema is made there and the way music is made as well right because we're talking about the music so yeah. I, I have no question that the the movie is going to be good. Whether or not it's stratospherically excellent is Mm -hmm. going to come down to, you know, critical and fan reception at some point later on down the line. Uh, Here in the U.S., when it comes to international releases, the major marketplaces are always going to get those as opposed to where I'm at in Michigan, which is pretty much dead center of the country, you Mm -hmm. know, up toward the top. We're very near Canada. Um, Mm -hmm. and, And that's not to say that we're like backwater or boondocks, but they're going to favor New York, Chicago, mm. uh, Los Angeles, some of the major big cities, because there there can be as many people in those cities as there would yeah. be in half of the state of Michigan. They're, they're jar- just gargantuan. Yeah. So a lot of times they will come there, and sometimes, I'm very close to Chicago, mm. those will trickle out, especially if they're pretty successful. So if yeah. something tests in Chicago and it's doing really well, then they'll bring it out because Grand Rapids, where I'm at in Michigan, is the second largest city in the state. So, yeah, nice. uh, you know, a lot of times we'll get the kickouts, but like the holdovers, the movie I was talking about earlier mm. uh, when we were doing our wrap up like that had a very limited release and then it went a little mm. bit wider and then eventually we got it here and I was so thrilled to be able to get it. And then yeah. again, two weeks later, they 
they just went ahead and tossed it on video on yes. demand because it happens yes. to have a Christmas element. So they wanted to make sure that people who might not be rushing out to the cinema to see it would have a chance to see it. But I'm so excited to see and really pay attention to now more the music and what it does for the culture and whether or not mm. like if we're talking about movies in the future, how successful is the song, especially if we're looking yeah. at older ones, you know, we should absolutely be looking into that. Definitely. No, no, that's a great point to bring up. Um, but yeah, guys, let, let us know what your thoughts about this movie. Let us know your thoughts about this song. Let us know whatever you're thinking. How excited are you guys? Drop a comment. You know, let us know. We'll get back to you, of course. But um, yeah, do. Doug, this has been awesome, like always. And we'll um, chat to you soon. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys.